Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and for today's videos, we're gonna show you a problem related to the compressor system that happens on a Mercedes C200 compressor using two 71 engines from 2007 to 2010. With this particular engine, we have two throttles. The first one is located right in front of the intake manifold. It's very easy to see and almost every car on the road is having it. And this is the second throttle situated at the output of our compressor. So there is a common symptom with the C200 compressor related to the second throttle. When you accelerate it, the engine will be very stalled and lack of performance. With that being said, we will show you how to check and fix these issues. So before checking our two throttles, let's take a look at the engine from front left. As you can see, the M16-6 is the throttle valve actuator, which every car will have it. But our main target is this M16-7, which is the boost pressure control flap actuator. So basically, the operation of this flap actuator is similar with the electronic throttle control. It alternately opens and closes the air flows into our intake manifold. When the boost pressure control flap is closed, the maximum boost pressure is made available to the engine. In full load operations, maximum boost pressure builds up. If the boost pressure control flap is opened, the boost pressure air is guided back through the recirculated air line to the compressor. The boost pressure control flap can be adjusted continuously from 0 to 90 degrees and can regulate the boost pressure over the recirculated air line. So that is how this flap actuator works. Then let's go through the wiring diagram. Here we can see our common throttle valve. This is the same throughout all kinds of car in the market. It has two wires to fit the motor, which is 1 and 6. Y4 and 5 is our power and ground. And the rest is signal. With the boost pressure control flap actuator, it's kind of similar. We have line 1 and 4 to fit the motor, 2 and 3 is power and the ground, and the rest are signal. To measure these wires, we have to remove our suction pipe and damper as I mentioned earlier, it's located under them. We already have a video on how to check it, so you can find it in our playlist. Now, let's take a look at the live data of our boost pressure control flap. I have already connected this car to Sentry. Go to actual values. Choose test values while idling. Pay attention to the throttle valve angle and the angle of boost pressure control flap. When we accelerate the car, this flap is open approximately 75 to 90 degrees. Resulted, the boost pressure cannot be re regulated over the recirculated airline. And for a better view, I will demonstrate it. As you can see, this angle should be the least open when we press the gas pedal, but it is not. This is the way to check whether your boost pressure control flap is working. And to conclude, this symptom is commonly existed on the Mercedes C200 compressor engines by the boost pressure control flap actuator. I've just shown you a method on how to check the values using Sentry. And based on the wiring diagram, you can also check if there is a signal coming back to the ECM. We've made a video on how to do it, and if you have any difficulties, feel free to contact us. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.